So I've been testing a portable monitor for the past month, and I did not expect it to change how I work and play this much. This is the Arzopa Z3 FC, a 16.1 inch portable gaming monitor with a 180Hz refresh rate and a 1440p resolution. It's priced at around $199 US dollars or roughly 11,700 Philippine peso, and Arzopa often throws in discounts, so I've added links in the description box if you want to check the latest deals. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm Renzo and I feature interesting or affordable tech gadgets on this channel, so do subscribe if you want to see more. Now, I've used the Arzopa Z3 FC for three main things. As a second monitor for my laptop, as a bigger display for my tablets, and as a gaming screen for my PlayStation 5. After 30 days, here's how it held up. At first glance, the Arzopa Z3 FC doesn't scream gaming. It's got a clean and understated design, thin bezels, a matte screen finish, and that sleek brushed metal texture at the back. It's surprisingly light at 780 grams and just 9.3 mm thick, so it's portable enough to slide into a backpack. I also appreciate that it comes with a kickstand, which is something not every portable monitor has. It's firm and stable, so whether I'm playing or working, I can easily adjust it for the best viewing angle. No wobbling, no slipping. And our Zopa even includes a free sleeve bag in the box, which is actually a nice touch if you plan to bring this around. You also get all the cables you need, two USB-C cables, and an HDMI to mini HDMI cable. So you're pretty much ready to go right out of the box. Now, let's talk about the screen, because this is where the Z3 FC shines. You're looking at a 16.1 inch IPS display with 2560 by 1440p resolution and 180Hz refresh rate. For a portable display, that's pretty impressive. The panel itself looks sharp, colors are vibrant, and viewing angles are excellent thanks to the IPS technology. It's got a matte coating that repels reflections effectively, which I found super helpful when gaming under bright room lights. Brightness maxes out at around 400 nits, which is the brightest I've seen in a portable monitor, and for indoor gaming or productivity, it's more than enough. Out of the box, the colors lean a little flat, so I highly recommend switching to the game profile mode in the OSD settings. That's where the colors really start to pop and the brightness gets noticeably better. Now, the biggest change for me was using this monitor with my PS5. I used to game on a projector, and while it's fun for big screen experiences, it's not great for latency or sharpness. The Arzopa Z3 FC is a massive upgrade in that regard. You're getting 1440p at 60Hz or 1080p at 120Hz, depending on the game in your settings. Either way, gaming feels smooth and responsive. The 180Hz refresh rate is technically overkill for the PS5, but it makes a big difference when I connect it to my laptop or PC. And for console gaming, the contrast and clarity are miles ahead of my old projector setup. Now, dark scenes still retain decent blacks, and while contrast isn't as deep as an OLED, it's perfectly fine for an IPS panel. As for HDR, it's supported, but honestly, HDR performance here isn't the best. Colors look less saturated and a bit washed out compared to SDR, so I just stick with SDR for gaming. Now about audio, the Z3 FC has dual 1W speakers and they sound tinny. They get loud enough for casual gaming or videos, but they lack bass. You'll definitely want to plug in a headset or external speakers if you care about sound quality, except the portable monitor doesn't come with its own headphone jack. Now next, I tested the Arzopa Z3 FC with my iPad 11 Gen and Xiaomi Pad 7. Neither tablet supports desktop mode, so what you get here is basically a mirror display. It's not the most practical for productivity, but it's great if you want a bigger screen for watching videos or casually browsing. The monitor runs over a single USB-C cable, which powers it and transfers the video signal. But since it's drawing power directly from the tablet, battery life drops fast. On my iPad, which has about a 7900mAh battery, I only got around an hour of runtime when using the monitor at 1440p 60Hz, so if you plan to use it with a tablet, I highly suggest plugging into an external power or using a power bank. Where it makes sense is when you have a portable setup, say your tablet connected to a keyboard and mouse. In that case, the Arzopa monitor becomes a great larger workspace. Now finally, as an extended display for my MacBook Pro M1, the Arzopa Z3 FC fits perfectly. The 16x9 aspect ratio complements the MacBook's taller screen, making it great for playback previews when editing videos or watching content. The 1440p resolution gives you sharp visuals without stressing your laptop's GPU too much. 
Now, color reproduction is also impressive. You're getting around 107% sRGB coverage and 16.7 million colors, so it's good enough for casual color grading and creative work. However, the Arizopa monitor is noticeably dimmer than the MacBook display, so for photo or video editing, I still rely on my MacBook's built-in screen for accuracy. Also, using the monitor through USB-C noticeably impacts battery life. I went from around 5-6 to six hours of screen time down to 2.5 hours. So again, it's best to plug it in when working long hours. Portability is one of the reasons you would buy something like this. At 780 grams and only 9.3 mm thick, it's easy to carry around. I don't typically bring portable monitors when I work outside, but if you're someone who moves between offices or meetings, this setup is perfect. The included sleeve bag keeps it safe during travel, and because of the kickstand, it's just much easier to set up. Now, after 30 days, I can confidently say I didn't expect to like the Arzopa Z3 FC this much. For the price, it's one of the best balanced portable monitors you can buy. It's sharp, fluid, color accurate, and very versatile. Whether I'm gaming, working, or watching videos, it just fits into my routine seamlessly. It's not perfect, the speakers are weak, and HDR isn't worth turning on as it could use a bit more brightness. But for around $199 US dollars, or around 11,700 Philippine Peso, this monitor delivers excellent value. So if you're looking for a portable monitor that works with PS5, Steam Deck, laptops, or tablets, the Arzoba Z3 FC is definitely worth considering. So that's been my 30-day experience with this portable monitor. That said, drop us a like if you like supporting the channel. As always, until the next one, stay safe.